Art has been essential in conveying myths and mythical truths, religious and spiritual teachings, and even distortions of the truth, such as propaganda and dogma. Art has been used to open and influence the unconscious mind in both esoteric and esoteric aspects of human life. Art's used in sales and marketing to tell both truth and lies. Art's used as a means of creating beauty and helping humanity stay connected to core archetypes, such as good beauty and truth. So with that preface, Mark, can you share your thoughts on the importance of and the role of art in general and what you feel is most important for humanity to understand about art? That's a great question. I didn't want you well, to get bored. <laughs> I, yeah, it seems like information or consciousness affects beliefs. Beliefs inform culture culture informs civilization and art is something that really evolves our consciousness alex grace talked about this quite a bit and right now i think our culture has it very twisted where art is like chasing culture art is dragging behind i'm seeing a lot of like movies and things that that aren't resonating because they're they're trying to pander or they're um trying to be political or something. And that's not the role of art. You know, it's not, it's not to make some political statement hidden within a movie. You know, the best movies I can think of are like Shawshank Redemption or Lord of the Rings. And these things had such a big impact on generations. And then you look at the downstream effect on culture and you have an entire generation of people who love Lord of the Rings and are inspired by those stories and it deeply resonates with them. And, um, and yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought there, but. Well, I think, I think what I hear you saying is that good art accesses the archetypal realm. So it opens doors in the psyche to higher truths. But if art is actually being used to take your mind in a direction that is the opposite of evolution or expansion of consciousness, then the tool that can be used to grow our consciousness and our spiritual awareness of connection to a progressively greater whole actually has a reversion effect and dumbs us down, numbs us down, and turns us into somebody else's play toy. That was perfectly said. That's just and, what I yeah. interpreted from what you were saying. No, that, you said it far better than I could. So what I see as the role of the artist is to go out and experience as many things as you can. Go deep into the psychedelic realm and pull those visions out and bring them into this realm. And yeah, the role of the creator is to take all your experiences and kind of synthesize them into this one unified vision that people can see. And so you can paint something as simple as like a, a doorknob, but you can paint it in a way where like nobody's ever looked at a doorknob like that before. You can make anything extraordinary and beautiful. And yeah, another thing about art is that for throughout history, it seems like artists, the role of the artist was to, um, create something that was from like the formless realm or create something that is a perfect ideal. You know, it's something that we aspire to. We're always going to fall short of our ideals, but as long as we're striving in that direction, we're oriented in that direction. We're living in harmony with nature or God or our purpose. <clears throat> and so back to the truth thing that we we're talking about earlier is I think everybody's got this idea of like my truth and we're going all in all different directions. And that's kind of what abstract art and modern art looks like to me. It's like, I look at it and it's just a blank piece of canvas with nothing on it. And it requires somebody's extreme context and deep explanation to say why this is worth a million dollars, you know, where I'm looking at this and I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. It's not, this is not beautiful to me. But when you go to like a cathedral, it's universally beautiful because it, they are creating these perfect ideals that we can orient towards. And the whole thing is oriented towards the heavens. 